morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've heard a lot of, about pathways, and so I wanted to give you all some very basic steps on how to get started utilizing the educational program from Toastmasters International. The main things I want to talk about today are passwords, pop-ups, and the evaluation. So for our passwords for the Pathways program, you know your password for our own club website, and you know how, to, how you log in there. Well, the same password and email address that you have associated with our website are going to be the same pieces of information that you can use to log on to Toastmasters International and Pathways. Now, to get to our Pathways website, one way is to do a Google search. Do a Google search for Toastmasters International, and you'll get your search results. Your search results may be higher or lower on your particular browser, but it's Toastmasters International is the one that you want to select. And then you have our Toastmasters International webpage. Now you can see there's a banner menu up here, and one of the items is Pathways. Let me magnify that a little bit. You want to click on Pathways. And we do, you get this drop down menu. And there's several options. But just for our purposes today, go to Basecamp. Go to Basecamp. Now, there, you log in with the same information pretty much that you're going to use for our club website. Here's our club website. You know your password for there. You know the email address that you have associated with it. And so you use that information here. I always enter my email address and my password from our club website. Once you do that, you'll get on to the Basecamp page. Now, this is already highlighted for yourself, where you're going to choose a path. So that's highlighted, and it says continue to the path selection. Here it's magnified a little bit, and that's the button you push to continue on to your path selection. So once you push that, you get to this page. Now, your Basecamp is uh, it's twenty dollars for a path, but your first two paths are free. So I've already chosen my first two paths, so that's why it says that here. Here's also your opportunity to order printed materials for the the pathway if you'd like. So it's a little bit more like our CC manual, and that's the opportunity to do that. Now, as I scroll down, I can look through this information and I can click the button to take my assessment. This is uh, the first button I get. Now it wants me to choose what language I want to use, so I select the language that I would prefer. That's set, and then I hit the start button. Then it prompts me to say, what areas of public speaking am I interested in? So I pick public speaking, leadership, and negotiation. Go on. Press the next button. And then of those three things that you chose, it's going to ask you which one is most important. So from here, it just goes on much the same manner where it sort of prompts you to ask your questions about your interests and whatnot and your abilities. And at the end of it, it's going to give you some suggestions for a pathway. Now, there's 10 different pathways that are available. It's going to recommend one and give a couple secondary suggestions, or it's going to give you all 10 to choose from. You can follow the recommendations that Pathways has offered, or you can choose any path that you want. Now, once you do that, you have to start utilizing the program, and that's where the pop-up is going to come into play. Now, for the website, pop-up blockers have to be disabled. Usually, pop-ups are advertisements, especially from the early days of the internet, where they had a lot of them, and so everyone blocks their pop-ups. But they have to be enabled for pathways. To do that, you go to this base camp, and uh, once you go in here to log in as a member on Basecamp, you want to, it's going to ask you to log in as a member, and it's the same information that you log into Toastmasters International with. It's going to give you this uh, notification. And what it's saying is your pop-ups blocker is enabled. And it's going to give you this link here, and it's going to give you specialized instructions on how to disable your pop-up blocker. So you click that. Uh, and you get some instructions. They'll be unique to your browser and your system. This is what's unique to mine. So it tells you how to block, uh, unblock those. I'm going to highlight this area. And because this gives me instructions, that's choose Safari, preferences, click security, then select pop up, block pop up. 
So on the road here to the Safari, where it says Safari, if you're using Chrome, if you're using Firefox, if you're using Internet Explorer, it's going to say that those words here. Mine says Safari because that's what I'm using. And here's a magnification of that. If I want to click on the browser type that I'm using, scroll down to Preferences, and then it's going to give me this menu here. Now on mine, the security tab is already selected, so it's giving me that information. If it's not selected, just go and select it, and it'll give you these options. As you can see here, pop-up block the windows, that's checked because I'm blocking the pop-ups. Here's a magnification of that. So what I do is I uncheck that button right there, I just click on it, and it disappears. The check mark disappears. And I have I've completed that step. So I'm going to go here and go to the back button. It's going to take me back to my pathway. Now this is where I've logged on as a member to my base camp. As I scroll down, I can see this item here. This is the pathway I've chosen, dynamic leadership, and here's an option where I can open the curriculum to start to use it. So that's a magnification of that. Click open the curriculum. And I get, uh, I get my first pop-up. Now, this is, uh, this is a pop-up that tells me about my program and what I can do with it. So I, I've started the dynamic leadership. I've done a couple of the items on it. And I can go on to my next, my next program. This is what the pop-up looks like after I launch, after I launch my program. This is going to be what I'm seeing for the next week. It gives you a lot of different information. You can actually print out your project and it'll give you a, a printout of the whole project like what you would get if you ordered it. And you can print it out manually if you like, or you can just read it as a PDF type on your computer. One thing I wanted to call your attention to on this same page is the evaluation. The evaluation resource is very important. After you've gone through all the primer stuff, all the preparation stuff for a certain speech or a certain project, you know, it's going to give you instructions on how to do it, worksheets on how to complete the project, a little outline to write your speech from that you can utilize or not, just depending. It's all meant to be helpful and get you going, not something to slow you down. But one really important item is the evaluation resource. Essentially, that's your evaluation. So when I click evaluation resource here, it's going to give me a printout of my evaluation form. Or not a printout, but a, a, it's going to display it. Now, to work with that item, I can save it to my computer, or I can export it as a PDF if I want. Now, if I do that, and I want to send it to my evaluator, because my evaluator wants to look over the information the night before and review it. That, that way, you know, they're a little, they feel a little more prepared. I can just save it to my computer, send it to them in an email. Now, if that doesn't happen, which oftentimes it doesn't, the, the last definite thing we want to do is print it out. You can print out the evaluation form. It's four pages. And you print it out, and you hand it to your evaluator before the meeting. That way, they can review it quickly and use it to base their evaluation on. That's pretty much it. So today we've talked about your passwords. We've talked about how to disable the pop-up blockers and how to print out your evaluation form so that you can complete your project. That's all there is to it, and I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you're able to utilize the Pathways program a little bit easier. As you continue to log on, it'll become just a second nature as logging into our own home club site. Thank you.